Hey everybody, I am in Portland, Maine. I am here again to explore. Um, I'm headed towards an area called Old Port. And uh, it's supposed to be uh, some of the oldest parts of the city. So let's go uh, check things out. I'm walking towards the, the little port here and I uh, see all kinds of boats and fishing boats and all that other stuff. This, this is uh, upon me just getting here. So it's pretty interesting. It's, I know that uh, Portland is surrounded by islands. So it's, uh, it was originally founded, I wanna say in uh, 1652. If that's not right, I'll correct it. Look at this seagull here, what's happening? Uh, and uh, it, the original name here was Falmouth or Falmouth. And um, the, I, I wanna say, what's it called? The, uh, the Phoenix is the, is, is Phoenix is the symbol of the city because there's been like four fires here. And, uh, you know, obviously it's emerged from those fires. And uh, here it is. So, you can see some historic uh, architecture still. Dry dock. Uh, here's an interesting fact. The, one of the northernmost battles in the Civil War happened here. And that was the Battle of Portland Bay, I believe it was. Um, Civil War, some of the, the Confederates decided to boat up here and do whatever they could to kind of destroy what they could here in the north. United States Custom House. So this would be, this would be the most diverse place here. There's um, a variety of different people, but I know that they're pretty welcoming. I know I talked to one guy in the lift. He told me, oh, I'm gonna walk down here just because it looks old. One guy told me that this is not officially a sanctuary city, but uh, they're very friendly to immigrants here. And uh, when I first came here, which was two years ago, I only came here at night and kind of briefly came and I told myself I've come back because uh, I don't know, I've always loved New England and who knows where I'll end up one of these days, but I kind of wanted to scout Portland out and uh, there was some opportunity and I came. But uh, oh, I guess there were some mar fish markets and stuff. I don't really mess with fish, but it's pretty interesting. The porthole Coca-Cola fountain. So I guess that's a little place to eat. I'll walk that far and I'm gonna head back. But yeah, you can see, who knows what was happening here. They're probably fishmongers coming out here, throwing fish out and people coming here and getting stuff for home and for the restaurant and just doing their thing. So I think I was talking about the demographics here. If not, I, I wanted to share that anyway. But um, here is, uh, it's still not as diverse as many other states, but um, I know it's 85% white and 7% African American, 0.5 Native American, 3.5 Asian, and uh, 1.2 other races. So still not the most diverse place, but probably the most diverse place you find in Maine. I like the vibe here. Really, really cool. Well, check that guy out holding the lobster. Of course, they're they're known they're known for the seafood here, and uh, especially the lobster. And um, sure, most of you know this by now. But if not, like lobster used to be, I guess they call a poor man's food. Like now, you know, it's expensive, and people, you know, love their lobster. But back in the day, it was something that people of People who had money really didn't care for it. it, was for poor people. But now that it's rare and been, I guess, over harvested, it's worth a whole lot more. Maine potato donuts. What's that about? I've never had a potato donut. And this is a uh, Saturday afternoon. 
kind of overcast, but it's still a nice day. It's definitely chilly, but surprisingly less chilly than it was in Augusta. It was more cold up there for some reason. You know, while I'm here, one of my goals is to find that moxie and I go in places, I'm thinking that's a Maine thing or a New England thing and I've yet to see it out here. I mean, the thing is, is I'm about to buy this and spend a couple, uh, spend a dollar or two and uh, take a little sip of it because I don't, I don't mess with soda. So if I can find it, find a fountain, that would be more ideal. I just want to taste it, you know, just because. Just So let's uh, sneak up this little alley right here. Or side street, I guess we'll call it. So this is, uh, I guess, downtown. Oh, there's a little street. Let's check this little street out. You got the old, old bricks and stuff down here. So I'm just imagining this area. Come on, guys, imagine with me. Back in Colonial Portland, Colonial Maine, and horses just going down the street and people walking and doing whatever they do getting the butchers going to the butcher shop going getting their fish and going to the seamstress and all the other things that people do all the things i'm imagining from back in the day check this check this old building out here this is why i walk around because you always find something interesting I wonder what the people from back in the day, how they'd feel about this street, if they could see it now. People walking around with cameras and uh, doing little selfies and air conditions and light poles, electricity hanging out of the walls. They could have never imagined that. We could never imagine what the future will look like. I guess we could imagine it. But uh, who knows how long we'll be here to see it. Phil's Point, it reminds me of Phil's Point a little bit. It's a bit bigger. But it does remind me of Phil's Point. How you doing, brother? Just one of these streets remind me of, of some of the towns I've been in up here. So this is most definitely one of the biggest places you can uh, visit here. So we got Cools and Moose. What we got going on? All right. Let's head down this street. What we got? Exchange Street. So I imagine there's a lot of commerce happening here back in the day. We're gonna go spy on these people, see what they're doing. We got some people chilling out in costumes. The donut tour, a lot of donut places here. Oh, they're doing uh, face paintings and stuff. We got this guy. Boutiques here. Buzz coffee. Yeah, this is the little hip spot, I imagine. Oh, check this alley out. Oh man, I almost missed that. Remember the sea fight far away, how it thundered the tide. Oh, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, okay. Cool little alley. See, this is not an alley you would want to, this is not an alley you want to visit in Baltimore. So, I'm just kind of imagine, uh, enjoying the artwork. Let's go to the other end and see what we got. 
I can't make out anything. It was, the alley's so small, you can barely see. Hell, be kind. All right, what we got here? So Blythe and Burroughs, okay. Pretty cool. Let's head back out here. Looks like some late trick-or-treating is going on. I see the trick-or-treating button bucket. So I wonder what's going on with that. Maine's oldest bookstore, uh, 1886. So I have to go in here. Sherman Maine Coast Bookshop. Let's go. Excuse me. Thank you. So you can find pretty much anything you can in any other bookstore, I imagine. I think, I think uh, my thing is I just wanted to come in and be in the oldest bookstore in Maine. So here's the it says main stuff, main history, main fiction. It's pretty interesting. Bargain books. Don't want anything. Oh, we got the vegan, vegan bacon, vegan pizza. Whole spent real food. Pretty cool. All right, that was, that little bookstore was cool. Maine's oldest bookstore. Let's see what else we can find. What we got going on? Oh, look at this old box here. Is that a, like an emergency phone? What is that there? Oh, it's used to, it says out of service, so I don't know. I don't know if I can open that or not. I don't think I can open that, but it used to go to 911. I'm gonna cross here in a second. Okay, we got a little park in the middle of everything. Oh, now what's up with this here? Now, I think that's written in Chinese. If any of you speak Chinese, I assume that says post, but you let me know what that is. I don't even know what it is. To city of Portland from a sis. Oh, J Japanese, okay. Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. This is pretty cool. Shinagawa, Japan, 1989, so cool. Look at this dude. See something coming out there. I don't know if that, no, it's not a church. I think there's a city hall. I'm gonna head that way. See what we can see. They have a ton of restaurants. They got Indian over here. I saw, I mean, they got sushi everywhere, but I saw that, I think, and, uh, Everything else you can imagine. Oh, some fancy vases, vases, however you pronounce it. All the, all the pricey clothes. They're out here enjoying their, oh, fresh lobster. So this place, the, the, the High Roller Lobster Company. Interesting, huh. Well, if you want some lobster, you know where to come down here. I'm gonna have to go online and find some old pictures of this street. There's, uh, you know, I'm just trying to imagine what it looked like back then. Old cars and more horses and, horses and carriages and all that stuff. There you are. That's City Hall. All are welcome. I love that. Seen a lot of things. See, they make sure that people know that they're welcomed here. And there are uh, quite a few people who I assume are immigrants that I see here. So they got the, here's the uh, fire station and, well, here's a fire station and Portland. I'm sure that's been around here for a while. You can see the old architecture. Again, I'm not familiar with the terminology for architecture, but 
Uh, my terminology is old style. We got the friendly Portland police going on here. So, uh, we got the erected by citizens of Portland, honored fire department, 1898. So that's that's been here maybe since 1898, unless they rebuild. Let's check this out. So this park, let's see, in 1874, on High Bluff, on the opposite, op, oh, opposite corner, stood the old windmill from which this millstone was taken. So this millstone was taken, I guess, from over there. There was, it used to be a windmill over there. Um, there's a nice quiet park for you to chill and read or reflect or apparently sleep. I don't know what kind of flower that is, but it's pretty. Any of you guys know what kind of flower that is? That's pretty. I love that park bench. I think I mentioned there's something romantic about park benches. nice and quiet I can hear the I can hear the traffic but it's still pretty chill seeing all the fall colors watching the odd person or two walk by all right so we got the cathedral Hall, or whatever that is. That's a pretty old building. I like checking out these old buildings. You see, you got the newer buildings kind of mixed up with the older ones here. Everywhere you go, it's welcome to Portland. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I really like that. You see that? everywhere welcome to portland that's pretty colorful so we got you guys want to go in this uh food co-op see what they got in there let's go co-op deals the portland forecaster i might grab one of those on the way out What we got? Really, they they have a lot of the same stuff you can find anywhere in a health food store. Ooh, they got some beat up pineapples. I don't know about those. Wait for something to snack on here. Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, look at that. That looks good. I was hoping to find some of those seaweed snacks. I can see these pop, this popcorn, little ass popcorn. If you're from New England, let me know how that tastes. I'm not gonna mess with it this time, but I see it everywhere. Every store I go into that sells food has little lads. So I know that they're making money. I'm assuming, so it must be vegan because I see that it's butter popcorn. Oh, and they got a little seasoning that goes with it too. Huh. I wish you that's delicious. They got foods you can take out here. Wraps. Buffalo cauliflower wrap. Sweet potato noodle stir fry. Huh. I wish you that's good. And that's that. You've seen the Portland co-op here. We got, we got some, oh, we got people over here chatting and having a good time. Guys embracing each other. Some nice little area here. I like that blue there. Nice and quiet block. Oh, 
Oh, check out the little barricade. Oh, oh, oh I wonder if they got kicked out or somebody passed. They got a space heater and humidifier, dishes. Huh. Oh, there are all the birds. Check them out. What's up, birdies? Got a nice home. Check this, check this big old gate out. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool place to chill. What's this here? Black Element Hostel. Okay, they got a little hostel there. So I'm pretty much heading back to my car. I guess I'm uh, trusting my internal compass. Well, oh, check it out. So the, that hostel has uh, little birds on there. One with a cigarette in its mouth. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Not that he's smoking, but beautiful artwork. 1904, that building's been there. Is that a synagogue? I don't know. I see that there's some Hebrew words up there. It's been there for a minute, I assume. 2000, I mean, 1904. I've really done some walking here. I think this block here that I'm getting ready to come up on, I had already walked earlier before I started filming. I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, there's a seaweed place. And uh, anyone who knows me well knows I love seaweed, uh, wakame and all that stuff. Um, there's a seaweed shop and it really didn't have anything too special. I had this little snack in there that I tried, like a seaweed bar, but it was mostly sesame seed or something. It was okay. There it is, Heritage Seaweed Shop. They had all kinds, they had a few, a few products, but it wasn't all that, in my opinion. I think marijuana is legal here. So you got the OMG, or, or organically main grown cannabis. All right, just taking a quick stroll, where, where, a quick ride. This is West End, Portland. So I'm going to give you guys a a little peek at what you could expect if you were here. Now, this doesn't represent all of Portland, but it represents some of it. Check that out. Really colorful houses over there. That's really nice. <clears throat> really nice. Now, I've seen uh, more people of color in this neighborhood. Um, you know, at least from my little drive. Some really cool looking houses. So Portland is 25% more expensive than the American average. Utilities, I think, are about 7% more expensive. So it's not a cheap city to live in. But uh, it also has some of the lowest crime in the nation. So I guess you kind of get what you pay for, in a sense. Good medicine. All right, what we got up here? Let's take a right here. So this neighborhood is right next to Old Port where I kind of explored and walked around. Salem Street. What flag is that? These are really nice houses. 
It seems like they keep it clean. They got elections going on, so see a lot of election signs. There's some older buildings over there. Cool colors over there, nice. Wow. Yeah, it's a pretty cool looking neighborhood. Really quiet, looks like an ideal place to trick or treat. So. Got the group of friends chilling there, having a little chat. Wow, nice homes. So you get a glimpse of what you might see if you decide to come move here, or if you came to visit. It's a nice place, uh, really. Everybody's been friendly. Uh, really, you know, you could pick up on vibes when you go places, and this is one of the places where I have a nice vibe, so. Uh, so come check out Portland. Have any of you guys been to Portland? If you have, let me know what you think about this city. If you'd like to come here, let me know too. So I'm at the uh, Portland Ocean Terminal, which I can't only go so far. But I came over here to close the video. It was a pretty good walk. I may drive around. If I do, that would have been earlier in the video. And if not, then uh, I hope you like what you did see. Anyway, share the video with someone you like and uh, stay tuned for more good stuff. I love you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.